Okay. So we have Jesse here. We're working on the second step in teaching the place cue. The first step uh, involved choosing a name for the command, which is place, defining it, get all four feet on that object and stay there until I release you. The dog may sit, stand, or lie down, but their feet must stay on the object. Who's good boy? And in case of small objects, front feet. Who's good boy? Good. So we used uh, food luring. So in other words, I took the food, put his nose like a magnet, and guided him on to the object. Now I want to start to send him to the object, meaning I'm going to stop a foot or so away and see if he'll leave me to climb onto it. So I'm going to warm him up. Good boy. Jesse, place. Good job, buddy. That was excellent. Jesse, break. Good. All right, that was good. Jesse, place. Good boy. Nope. It's a little leash. Good. A little leash pressure just to kind of motivate him to go. A little resistance. Boy, it's hard. He's like, you're pulling. Nope. Good, you're pulling me off. Good. Good's my marker. That means you did the right thing. Keep doing it. And if I feel like giving you food, I will come to you. Good job. I drop the leash. And I walk straight away from him. Excellent. So he's got a good concept of what this means. I'm going to get the bone. I'm going to bang on my hay out there. Good. So we're going to go ahead and feed that too. And, uh, all right. I'm pretty happy with this so far. I pick up the leash. Nope. He was thinking about it. You can tell. I'm going to walk away. Jesse Brink. Very good. So now, and it's, sorry, it's such uh, a tight space. Good. I'm going to try to stop before he climbs on. Let me push this away. You want to practice in as many rooms as possible and from as many angles as possible. And so uh, I love place because let's say I'm coming in the house with groceries and my dog is excited to see me, so he's jumping, he's circling. If I say, Jesse, place. Good. I want him to run. Good boy, buddy away from me um, onto his uh, cot or his bed or whatever. You can teach the crate the exact same way. Just means go to that object. Just see break. Good boy. So. Uh, if someone's at the door and I have a nice big German Shepherd here and I want to make sure it really is a pizza delivery guy, I might say Jesse Place. Yes, good boy. And then this way. Hold on, I'm coming. Hey, hurry up. Okay, I'm coming. Good. Get him used to staying on this while there's some real distraction going in. This is also great for everyday life, teaching your dog to come in the house, to settle down, uh, to stay there while you're watching a movie with your significant other, while you're sitting with the family for dinner, um, when you're just trying to get some work done and you have a dog. Dogs don't naturally like know, oh, I'm inside. So I shouldn't be running around and playing. Kind of have to condition them. Outside is for playtime. Inside is for calm time. Unless I invite you to play. Notice that order. I invite you to play. If your dog comes up to you and paws you and you give them attention, when they drop their, their ball at your feet and you throw it, you're going to teach your dog that they can initiate this stuff. And it's not that it's so necessarily bad. It's just that it's really annoying and frustrating in everyday life to have a dog, especially if it's a little bit more go, 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 or pushy dog. I'm doing that all the time. Jesse, break. Yeah, bud. Good. So the leash is still on as a guidance if he gets confused or when I add a little distraction, which I'm doing along the way, uh, I can help him. So I'm going to the leash again. Jesse, place. Good. My marker word that means keep doing that thing. Now I'm going to go grab uh, a toy real quick because he's obviously walking away from me, so I want to bounce the ball. I'm going to bounce it in the distance. I'm not going to do it right in front of him. Good. Because, and I lost control of it. Um, because I know he's very toy motivated. And so part of step two is making sure they'll hold it for. Good job, buddy. They'll hold it for the distraction, right? Now, just because I have food, just because. Nope, break, please. Good. Just because the food is good right there. Oh, he loves his kibble, doesn't he? He loves his food. It's right there, buddy, if you just know. 
You just reach out and touch it. Good boy. Break. Now he gave me nice eye contact, and so I wanted to reward that. Good job. So I want to make sure that he knows that when I say the word, it's an object and climb onto it. So, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop pretty far away. Come here, buddy. Jesse, sit. Jesse, down. Excuse me. Jesse, sit. Good boy. Jesse, place. Good. Good job. So you saw the hesitation when he went from sit to down to sit. He was like, oh, I don't know about this. Good boy. Jesse, break. Break. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So we're going to do that again because it's the distance and it's, I might also be going from one command to the next. Jesse, down. Jesse, sit. Jesse, place. different rooms and also coming from different directions. Jesse, break. Jesse, set. So we're going to move this over because I want to make sure there's no confusion when we go from a different direction. Now, this time I'm going to be a little bit more confusing. He's out of sight. He's only, I don't know, four feet away. Um, I'm going to stand here, so I'm here in bed there, forming a little bit of a, a really crooked triangle here. Jesse, place. No. Place. Good boy. Now, when he gets unsure, good boy, he's a sensitive soul. So when he's unsure, he's like, Ugh, I don't know. He gets all nervous looking. Break. Break. So we're going to do that again because I like that exercise. So bear with me. Jesse, sit. You know he's out of sight. Good boy. But he's just sitting a few feet away. Jesse, place. Yeah, good boy. That's excellent. Good job, buddy. So I'm going to come to him in surface, and then I'm going to release him on eye contact. I like the eye contact, so I'll do a little bit. I'm just looking at the food, because he's like, oh man. Oh, break! You heard me correct that when he looked away that little, and he wasn't, it was his reaction. <laughs> I was going to do this. Oh, you're a good boy. He's like, yeah, good stuff happens here. Jesse, place. Good boy, good boy. So once he's starting to realize, oh, if I climb onto that object, good things happen, and that the cue to make those good things happen is place. Now here's the other thing, just if he climbs on, there's nothing wrong with giving your dog food for right food, playtime, and praise when they're doing nice things like laying on their own bed, chewing their own stuff. Um, but you don't want it to become the kind of thing where during an active training session, he say, break. He, I'm not, you know, I'm not giving him a cue fast enough, so he tries it. It's not that it's wrong. I just don't want him going there on his own before I give him the command to get the food reward. I'd rather than say, Jesse, come. Come. Good. I'd rather make sure sit. Down. Good. Place. Good. That he knows that it's uh, doing this act after a certain word. Got some of the reward. Good job. And you can name this place, you know, this this cop place, his favorite dog bed bed, uh, his least favorite bed mat. You know, you can name the various spots. Break. Break. Jesse, break. Good boy. Sorry, you need the word. Um, good job, buddy. You know, so you can name different beds. And you can name the different beds different names and teach them to go to specific beds as long as they're not three different cots. You know, then you would want to do um, a cent, I don't know, that's crazy and a little unfair. Uh, but if you want to teach them the cot was place and the dog bed was bed and then a thin mat looking one was mat or something along those lines, that's fine. You can also teach crate the same way. I say crate go into this object and stay inside of it until I release it. Be fair, if your dog is on a very small bed and is sliding, and you're telling the dog to point out, and it just so happens that it doesn't fit and slides off when it's settling down, I don't correct that as long as the dog's making conscious effort. These are pet dogs. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you see your dog is putting in the effort and trying hard, 
nurture that, don't squash that. You know, be fair, uh, be clear, have clear criteria, clear play. Practice in a lot of different environments. And what's wonderful is you can get like a yoga mat or something, roll it up, take it with you, and do this training anywhere. You know, go to the dog park, start off with some dog obedience, some place cues, then release the dog to go play. And he earns that play time at his favorite spot after he's done these wonderful things. And that will reinforce speedy compliance in the future. Jesse, break!